as I pushed open the black metal gate in a suburban street of Northern Manila and entered a small house. Inside, a stray marmalade cat wandered through, arching its tail into a question mark, and two little old ladies met and embraced. They discussed their health, their grandchildren and great-grandchildren, the journey there to Quezon City in the capital's notorious traffic, nothing out of the ordinary. They were there, however, because they shared a most terrible bond. I have to say that in the last few years, I have seen far more brutality against women and girls, really unimaginable things on a very wide scale than I had seen in the whole of the rest of my career as a journalist. So I started looking into it, not really with the aim of writing a book at the beginning, just trying to understand what was happening and what could be done about it.